Radio Shouty. Now, coming off of that No Limit Chronicles, you mm-hmm. know, me and my podcast partner, Gangsta Wick, we've been having a debate mm-hmm. thing. When are we going to get a cash money versus no limit versus, sir? Man, like, look, like, check this out, you dig? Talk like, to me. me. Like, I ain't going to overspeak or underspeak on nothing, you dig? But Ooh. that would be gravy with the, with the, with the mashed potatoes, you heard me? <laughs> it would be gravy. But I'm going to tell you this. I make no promises. I don't overcommit to underdeliver. Yeah. So I will tell you, though, I have voiced my opinion. Ooh. Uh, I oh I have been in the uh, what they call that <laughs> the people oh, I I have been lobbying <laughs> yeah. for uh for a cash money no limit tour oh oh yeah I I think that's a whole another wall just to say I'm not saying it gotta happen tomorrow that needs to happen I'm I'm saying that's the type of energy I'm lobbying for because I could have been like well look this is my bag Mm -hmm. and I'm gonna go ahead and keep this idea I'm putting this energy out in the atmosphere (laughs) because we saw Gucci man young Jeezy Jeezy versus Gucci man yeah in Atlanta historical come on and no problems the whole entire night yeah in the seven seven zero six seven eight come on four four come on you know what I'm saying? Come so, on. So I want to be able just for for what it's worth yeah. to be able to move forward and have that to start a new type of legacy and history about us. Mm-hmm. You know, if, for, if, if you know, if it means something to um, the people all involved. You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, nah, we need that. I mean, the culture needs that. The industry needs that. The world needs that right Amen. there. And that's just what that is. Amen. Now, Fiend, when you look at your career, mm-hmm. You had an opportunity to work with three legendary labels, man. Yeah. No Limit, right. Rough Riders, right. and Hypnotized Minds. Right. Where do you feel like you really got your shit off at? Uh, hey, man, to keep it a straight buck, I, I'm, I'm, I have, I'm a part of all those labels, including Jet Life. Yeah. Including my own label. Yeah. Fiend Entertainment, FDE. Facts. And I am all of these labels. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm Mafia. I'm a No Limit Soldier. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm Boot Camp Click. Yeah. I'm Jet Life. Come Iron on. Gang. You heard me? And I'm, um, was that everybody? And I'm Rough Rider. <laughs> don't forget that. And let me be clear why I'm saying this. You don't get awards for being a guy that's the bridge. Yeah. Every label I've been honored to be a part of, yeah. it's because I'm a bridge. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nothing's bigger than the bridge. Yeah. The bridge just want to help people get, get yeah. across. Exactly. To and from. Exactly. And that was my part. And I was, to this day, very, very prideful being a part of all those great labels. Then, now, and tomorrow. Facts. So I'm a part of all those labels still today. Mm. Yeah. Now... Oh, we still getting this book, thing. Yeah, you're getting this book. That's crazy. You should mention that. Um, I was trying to sell that motherfucker yesterday. <laughs> you heard me for real, man. I was like about to sling that bitch. You heard me, like, you know. Then I thought about. It. I was talking to Pimp and Kent. Yeah, shout out to Pimp and Kent and Charlie Braxton. And he was like, um, Nah, man, nah, fiend. Um, keep that thing, man. Um, independent, man. Keep yeah. it. I was just gonna do it, and I had a few things. That's just me. I, I ain't attached number me and my people. You dig? Yes, sir. So I was like, man, I'm like sling this motherfucker, you know, man. Just yeah. take the bread or take the opportunity mm-hmm. and do ten, twenty thousand more things, you know, man. But then the reality of it was, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, bake this cake slow. So, but I will tell you this here: you gonna have this book no no later than May. Um, no later than May. But it's it's gonna be ser- it's serious. Talk bro. to me, Fiend. What you gonna be touching on in that thing, man? Hey, bro. Let me just say this. Um, everything you can get from me musically, you know, waiting on God. You know, um, tennis shoes, and tuxedos. You know, no limit soldiers. Um, uh, get the ah, uh, my. Fa- you gonna get all my ups <laughs> and my downs. You hear me? Everything, bro. What what made me do what? What you missed? Everything, all the drama. I I was I re- voice I voice recorded the book first. Ooh, so it wasn't it was in sequential order as far as laying out chapters and having the questions asked by Charlie Braxton. Yeah, but um, I got to figure out a way to convert the audio because it was too emotional for me. 
Like it was too emotional for me to to hear, to wake up and remind myself of things that I had not thought about in a very long time. You know what I'm saying? What was the part in there that just woke you out, Fiend? Um, the part in the book that just uh, woke me out as far as just mentally had me warped was my brother, my father, and uh, being uh, one of the biggest things since sliced bread, but being broke is a joke. You know, a lot of those things warped on me. You know, I, di I didn't used to visit my mom at certain heights in my career because I didn't have no money to give her. Damn. Not that she, that's our relationship. Yeah. But for somehow I felt like I owe this person something and how it's like you owe somebody something and you go around them yeah and you ain't got their bread and you know you, you know it's love <laughs> yeah to be there yeah and you acting like you comfortable without saying here you go baby you heard me? yeah you, you know I, I i i just it just didn't sit right with my spirit yeah and i used to just be out hustling bro no matter what i was doing looking to get something man, I, every time i see my mom my auntie i stroke them a check stroke them a check stroke them a check stroke them a check and i mean they can appreciate it but they ain't what they wanted yeah for me to show up and visit, you yeah. know what I mean? That had to, it, it beat me up something terrible, you know, closing my dad's eyes, mm. uh, November 18th, um, closing my dad's eyes um, and, um, you know, watching my dad go before my eyes, like, it did a bit, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I've been to more funerals and graduations. I got Yeah, I'm not bragging, I'm just recollecting the book. Yeah. And to know that I still came out victorious. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Without a stain on me. Exactly. I knew that somebody loved me for real. You dig?